If you're a parent, a student or a teacher, this school year has been really tough. So many changes, both big and small. Tomorrow, those changes continue. A local district is opening back up its doors. Cabarrus County starts plan B, meaning students will have two days of in person learning and three days of remote learning. Some are welcoming the change, while others feel it's too soon to bring people back. All new at 11 are Brianna Harper spoke to some of those parents who are worried about their children's safety. Tomorrow, Cabarrus County Schools will begin bringing students back to the classrooms for the first time since mid-December. Now, back then is when the school board decided to return to all virtual learning. But since then, the COVID numbers throughout the county have actually worsened. This is a scary global pandemic that we're all facing, and we just want to do what's what's the safest option. Those options include in a variety of learning plans from full remote to all in person or hybrid between the two. It's important that when we're choosing which plan to be in, um, that we follow the, the data. And the data shows right now Cabarrus County has one of the highest COVID-19 positivity rates it's recently seen, which is why the Cabarrus Health Alliance recommended putting a pause on in-person learning, at least until the numbers go down. We're really gambling with a lot of lives when we talk about reopening all of the schools. The superintendent agreed. Most teachers and parents agree, but the majority of the school board did not. I don't even feel like they're listening to anyone but themselves at this point. So we Last week, the board sure chose to move forward with the hybrid reason, of learning using plan B. Personally, I feel the safest place in our community is our schools. My family contracted COVID and my child wasn't even in school. But the COVID-19 concern in the classroom is still there for teachers like Rebecca Ringline. I'm pregnant with twins and my pregnancy is high risk. And so that adds a whole another level of concern for me. And then there's the difficulties with learning too. Just letting the kids be consistent until the numbers get to where we can go back to school. This and mom's twin daughters have felt the changing impact firsthand too. You can get confused of which classes you have to go to because of the schedule changing. It's easier for me to stay home and do virtual because then we can have more time. But unlike students, Cabarrus County school staff doesn't have the option to do all virtual all the time in plan B or otherwise. I will be there tomorrow because I need my job, but um, I'll be praying hard the whole day. Brianna Harper reporting WCNC, Charlotte.